at this beautiful horse. It's been done with drywall. I'm with Bernie Mitchell, who's a drywall artist. We're down here at the GTA Home and Rental Show. It starts today at the International Center. Bernie, you've been a drywaller for how long? About 40 years. 40 years. And yeah. I thought maybe you were an artist first, and then drywall <laughs> became your medium. But you were actually, you were just doing drywall to I start was, off. Yeah, yeah. It just kind of evolved. It was some things I was doing. And, and on your banner, it actually shows some of the different kinds of sculptures that you've done. And some of these are really large. So you're actually yeah, here all are. weekend. You started this horse yesterday. Yeah. We're going to start something else right now, right? Yeah, we're okay. going to play in the mud here. I'll, play, I'll get play the tree in the mud. started and okay. uh, you can run with it. So this is how you usually work. So people commission you to do pieces, but you are mostly inspired by nature and animals. Yes, I am, yeah. Landscape stuff. Uh... Now, what's the largest piece you've ever done? I guess about 20 by 16 kind of thing. Well, what was it? 20 by 16, okay. 20 by 7. Yeah. It was in an airport in northern Alberta. And, uh, All right, so you're starting a tree here? Yeah. Okay. And how long does it typically take you to do something? Uh, anywhere 30, 40 hours on a on really? regular sculpture. Now, do, I, I was going to ask you if people want to paint them. Uh, but you kind of, like, when we were talking beforehand, you kind of made a little face. Yeah. Like, don't paint them. Uh, it, it's just, <laughs> it, the color just complicates things. It's, right. Uh, you can't really see the sculpture for the for the color. And uh, so most of these, I like to see them when I do them permanent on, on location. In the, and we have some footage of you doing some of your yeah. great drywall work, because I know it does take a little bit of time. And you'll okay. be here working on this all weekend. Now, what am I doing? Am I going to be doing something? Yeah. Here, get a, get a start okay. on it. So what do I so do? You, I scoop you this. Hold, you hold oh, am I going to get dirty already? Yeah. Yeah? All right. So we're going to, okay. And Just go for it. What, what, what does going for it mean? What does that mean? <laughs> Slap, smack it on smack there it on. so it's got a good bond. Okay. Right? Yes. All right. Yeah. And then it was just like, you were doing trees. I was. <laughs> very good job. <laughs> I didn't do this. Hey, it's only drywall, I didn't do but... this very well. Um, so, your... so one of the things is probably yes. keep the edge of that knife clean. So just oh, wipe it off I on see. the pot here. Okay. So yeah. you don't remove some of that excess mud. Yeah. Put it on an angle. Just give it a sweep. All right. Like pretty trees. This is very Bob Ross feeling kind of, you well, know? there you go. Um, this is really great. What's your favorite type of sculpture to do? Do you have an ant? Is it an animal? Is uh, yeah, it... But, yeah, it really, it, yeah, for the most part, it's the wildlife. The birds. Yeah. Uh, well, the horses birds, are beautiful. Horses, horses They're are great. Nice too. They so got a lot of character actually, in them and they show wildlife. People can come life. down to the show this weekend and watch you do your sculptures live. Thank you so much, Bernie. We're taking a break here on BT. Well, thank I you. I want to do some more happy trees. Yeah.